Yeah, not not too much damage. It's like one AOE damage. Oh, shit. oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, straight up. So, oh, I can melt this trick right here on this mechanic. If you're the first one targeted, you could shadow melt and avoid the mechanic. Let me know. If, let me know if you learn that for me and from nowhere else. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Mystical Sam bringing you a plus eleven. Neltharos, and I did accidentally miss weave instead of fist weaving, so it is gonna be a little weird, but we timed it. Not much to talk about for damage. Fire Rack Trinket just cranks, it, it was nice. Healing wise, Gust of Mist, you know, I have a lot of mastery, a lot of enveloping mist, and vivifying. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Vivify crit for 567k, which is actually kind of insane. And yeah, uh, we did a pretty good job overall. My gear is 515, 516 item level. Mostly mastery, we got some verse and haste. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. All right, I am accidentally, <laughs> I'm accidentally not fist weaving here. So it's like the second time this week it's happened to So this is an 11 Nelthor, Neltharus, Neltharus, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I don't think it's going to hinder us timing the key. Maybe it does. I feel like it doesn't. Anyway, it's tyrannical. I don't know. Do we have to IBF there? Maybe we did. Um, this is tyrannical, volcanic, sanguine week. So I see sanguine. I rop it. Hopefully they move. Please move. Get knocked. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I, when I play from range, like, and when I play Mistweaver, as opposed to Fist Weaving, I just, my, it's a lot easier to heal, honestly, like, <laughs> I feel a lot less stressed when I Mistweave, because a lot of mechanics, I, like, this might be unpopular here, I don't know, from purse from experience, I just feel like playing range is easier, I, I don't know, I mean, I feel like in melee, you just have to deal with so many mechanics, and then the affixes and all this stuff. So usually when I, this is the first time I'm doing a dungeon, I'll always misweave. I, I will always, always cast just because range allows me to like react faster and learn the mechanics. So I don't mind it. I just, I do enjoy fist weaving in Mythic Plus a lot, like very much. Um, but we'll see how this goes. We'll see. I mean, hopefully it doesn't hinder us timing this key. I don't know if this timer is tight or not. If I, if I should be doing damage, I am this magma and we should be okay. I put mystic touch and everything. Cause we're playing with the hunter. So obviously I'm assuming they're either they're, I would assume they're BM, right? I feel like BM is always like the go-to, uh, for hunters in M plus. So a lot of physical damage. Actually, it's all physical damage. Uh, nice knock. I will knock as well. And we should be good. I'll probably just save my... The only thing is the build I'm using is my arena build. And I don't use Shailene's Gift. <laughs> I just for, I just completely forgot. I just straight up, I just I just forgot. Um, Magma on the Falcon. Falcon Voker. But so far, so good. A Volcanic isn't hard to deal with. Sanguine with a... I mean, honestly, with a Monk, a Dragon... And even a DK with a, a grip, like it, it, Sanguine, I mean, maybe it's difficult. I mean, it's moderately difficult, but it's, we sh if we do our jobs right, it should be easy. So essentially, this is just heretical. We, we, we just need to do the boss mechanics right. That's all we have to do. And I will, of course, I will explain the mechanics as as we go. And I, I, I this is one of the dungeons I don't really do too often. I'm just trying to get all my I'm just trying to get all my tens done and elevens done, you know. For some reason, it's hard to find like a, a a group that it's just hard to find a group. So I'm trying to get all of them done so people don't think I'm bad. But I always find that you know the higher you go, it's actually harder. All right. Anyway, avoid the frontal there. Uh, bait. This guy is gonna try to this uh, elephant is gonna charge and release some like lava. Uh, don't get hit by the lava. You will more than likely die um if i can react fast enough i might be able to life cocoon odds are that i probably won't be able to react fast enough so yeah you'll likely die uh there's a lava spray that's just a frontal avoid the red swirls on the ground okay 
charge on the evoker okay dodge this now if you are in a coordinated group there is a way to make it so three only one there's only like one line for the lava to come out um because it's kind of targeting players and not really it's not randomly so if you have a coordinated group the lava after the charge is probably easier to deal with however we do not have that luxury so um charge on the hunter good job let's dodge good not too bad of a boss i would say overall probably one of the easier bosses i would say uh, my finger was on life cocoon there I, I was getting ready to press it i wasn't sure if he was going to i don't mind that i'm casting either by the way i've gotten some questions about it so hopefully this is helpful for anyone who's looking to you know do some keys as a cast in miss weaver you know okay charge on me dodge this and that's that i was always uh when i was first pushing keystone in season one i was always taught to like uh, have it charge over here um and then you could bounce it between wall to wall but maybe uh, maybe the strats changed i don't know if they've made changes to this boss or not but I could very well be wrong with that. And I'm just going to crank with spit out with the thing. Okay. Yeah, not not too much damage. It was like one AoE damage. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, my God. That... <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even know if I got out of there. Did I get out of there? Did he swap me? No. Oh, my God. That was so... I was I was actually... I got scared there. I, I That was like a jump scare for me. Oh my god. I hope we time this key so people can see that. That's funny. That that I, I actually got scared. I thought I, that charge wasn't on me, right? Like that that charge was on the priest, I'm pretty sure. It was on the it was on the evoker. That's <laughs> That scared me so bad. Holy cow. All right, big healing here. We're not going to be doing much damage, by the way. Um, how I play, I re when I fit, when I miss weave, it's very similar to how I play arena. I kind of just chill. I'm just chilling. I'm going to use my fire right trinket here, though. I'm going to sweep everything before. You don't want to leg sweep things too low on Sanguine Week just because you don't want Sanguine to drop and mobs are stunned. So I don't think any of those birds actually uh, drop Sanguine, it seems like. So... Can I just Todd? Yeah, there we go. That's my damage contribution <laughs> to that pull right there. I actually did pretty good amount of damage. Look at that. Firek, uh, listen, I, I will say it every single Mythic Plus video until it's actually a thing. I am obsessed with the Boolean system. I wish that they would bring vendors for Mythic Plus every single, for trinkets at least, for trinkets at least, for Raiders and Mythic Plusers. I wish they would do it every season. I don't know why they don't. Maybe there's a good reason. I don't know. I'm obviously very clearly biased towards having it, so I'd love to hear what people think about it, but why would you not want it? You know, like it just seems nice. I mean, oh, it's a good system. You know, I Mythic Plus, I don't raid, I PvP and I Mythic Plus. Sure, there's not a lot of overlap, but maybe there's more of an overlap between Mythic Plusers and Raiders, so they want the trinket, right? So maybe, but still, I mean, so there's gotta be some people that don't raid that Mythic Plus and they can't get the trinket. I would have never in a million years gotten Fire Act trinket, ever. I'm 435 M level. It wouldn't be a chance that I would get that, but I'm happy that the it's in. Uh, we're gonna kick the mending cl mending clay, mending clay, and we're gonna just fire rock here just because I just love cranking damage. Uh, we should have a chain unless we're not. There's a chain over there. Are we not? All right. That's okay. I hmm. maybe I should have went for it. I don't know. I didn't want to pull that trash. Maybe the hunter could have and then feign death if he pulled. Who knows? I guess I'm Night Elf. I guess I could have just kind of committed. Rop these guys out. Oh, I robbed any Typhoon or whatever it into it. The, the Drakthir racial. Nice. Good, good, good. I mean, I'd say overall we're doing a pretty good job. I mean, right? We're like a little over eight minutes in and we're going to be starting the second boss, which is pretty good. Good, good. Um, I don't know if I have to meld drink here. I kind of like having meld drink bosses just in case it gets a little dicey, but I'll drink. 
are. Yeah, if you can, if you could start drinking right before the poll, that's pretty ideal. Um, the biggest difference, I don't know what those markers are for. I don't know what those markers are for. So, Hunter on green. Do Booker on purple. Please don't say Monk. Don't say Monk. I thought we were pulling. Okay, good. All right, it's a free for all. Good. I don't know. I, this might be chains. This might be chains. When the chains go out, I'll explain the mechanic when it happens. So first mechanic is going to be magma wave. This is just a frontal. Um, pretty simple. Don't get hit by it. Uh, Dragon strike, I think is a tank mechanic. Nope. 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 It targets somebody. <laughs> Don't get hit by it. Or you're going to take some damage. So yeah. And then chains. This is again, dodge the frontal chains. Uh, the DPS are going to get chains. Okay. They need to break the chain one at a time. So this is going to be interesting to see how this goes because it's always hard. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That is not good. But we still have one more chain. Please. Okay, good. Okay, good. Be res. And then as soon as he uh, does oh cocoon here, as soon as you break all the chains, he's going to get stunned, take some extra damage. If we had lust, we'd probably press it. Um, that was not ideal. That was not ideal. We probably have to do that two more times. And I guess we still have a B res, but it's still not looking. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It probably it's probably fine. Honestly, it's probably fine. All right, Dragon Strike is going to take some damage. Good Fade from the Priest. We do love that. I actually don't know if Fade has a... Does Fade have a damage reduction in PvE? I know in PvP it's really good. All right, we have Chains here. We're going to Yulon, of course. Um, I don't have a defensive for myself, so this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to... I'm actually just enveloping missing everybody. Just... I'm, I'm overhealing by a lot, but... Be healing... We had Turtle, we had Exil, and we did not press either, which is just another day. Just another day. Um, eighteen, eighteen. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I, I clear. I don't know. This guy's saying he does eighteens, but he can't even. Do this on an 11. Like, I don't want to say anything, but like, you know what I mean? All right, I have defenses for myself here, so I, I don't have to worry about me. I'm actually just going to use my Fire Trinket too. Um, please, Hunter, use Turtle or Exil, please. I really hope my tank does not die. Good, good, good. That's how it is. I mean, that's how it is. And we got the dot, by the way. The reason you try to stagger is because there's a dot. And it stacks up to three times for all three chains. So that was, it, to be fair, this is the hardest boss in here. So, I mean, it is what it is, but no more B-Reses <laughs> right now. Uh, I popped a VE, I popped a VE ASAP. As two went off. Yeah, I mean, it's just hard to heal. I don't know. I wasn't checking how much healing I did there, but I feel like I was kind of... I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I feel like I was pumping. Maybe I wasn't. <laughs> Imagine the bloody keys out healing me, probably. Like, that'd be tragic. Um, But we're doing good so far. I mean, yeah, we have two deaths on the boss, but I would say it's the hardest boss in here. So, overall... Whatever. Trade two big reses, kill the boss without wiping. Obviously, we want to take that. Now, the reason, now, I get it why people take augs, but can, can I be quite honest with y'all? I actually hate playing with them. Because if someone dies, right? Oh, what are we doing? What are we... It's, it's okay. Uh, if someone dies, you're just down, like, 2D. Like, especially if the aug dies. I mean, the aug didn't die. I'm going to fire right here. But if the AUG dies, you're just down like two DPS essentially. And then if a DPS dies, you just have like one DPS. It, it's just weird. So I don't know. They're kind of tough to play around with. But this 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 one seems to know what he's doing, which is nice. Which is truly a shock for me. Because a lot of AUGs I play with, a lot of AUGs play 
AUG, like they're a DPS, pretty much. You know, no rescues, no dispels, you know, no off healing, just straight damage. And, you know, it's okay. It's, it's fine if you want to play it like that. I just feel like it's wrong. Or at least from a healer point of view, it, it feels rough, but... Could be wrong as well. All right, what are we at? We're at 14 minutes in. We got... <sighs> We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I'm, I'm going to be optimistic here. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's the utility I'm talking about. We saved a second there. Let's go. Where's our hunter? Goog? There it is. All right. It's getting a little dicey there. Okay. This ball, th I feel like this uh, pull is like kind of annoying, actually. A lot of casts go out. Um, you know, a lot. I'm, I'm trying to try to kick what I can, but I really don't know how that's gonna go. Uh, it's going pretty well. I'm gonna melt that uh, melt on me. Yeah, the 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 cast crank. By the way, the casts are hard. Oh, no, please no. Oh, fire trinket. Another reason why I love it. The, on the off chance I get hit by a mechanic, which of course is rare because I never get hit by mechanics. Um, it's nice. It's an extra defensive. <laughs> that dodge the frontal. Don't get hit by the red swirls. They hurt. Um, and then also philosophy I have. Now listen to me. I'm no mythic plus connoisseur. But what I would recommend is, or how I've improved or try to improve at Mythic Plus is on Tyrannical Weeks, make sure you're practicing the Fort, you know, the trash mechanics on Fort Week. Make sure you're practicing the Tyrannical mechanics, you know, just because the Fort mechanics this week aren't going to kill you. It doesn't mean you should get hit by them. You should try your best to do all the mechanics. That way, when it is Fort Week, you're not getting hit by it. Or just wing it. What just hit me? No shot. That was, that was a melt, right? I was not hit by a mechanic there. <laughs> kick that. I kick for the death knight. I'm quicker than him. Quick like that. <laughs> I love mythic. Mythic plus is genuinely. It, it's a good. It's good fun. It's good fun. I I, I like. Even though I, I LFG a lot and I have like negative friends in mythic plus, it it is really fun to push keys and I'm, I'm happy to upload these videos even though i'm not fist weaving even though i wish i was that's okay i'm not salty about it even a little bit i know that i said the last boss was the hardest one but i hate healing this next boss like it's not harder i feel like can i i'm just gonna diffuse magic here because i got some melts on me this one's gonna doesn't do nothing actually i could probably line here couldn't i can i just line this i'm gonna see can i line this I don't know if I line that or not. I don't know if my shield just went away or what. Dispel that debuff. Can I line this? I feel like I was able to just line those casts. So I'm pretty happy with myself there. I'm pleased. Um, we're just chain pulling like crazy. This is, by the way, if you tank, I'm sure there's negative tanks watching this. The, I, the way this tank is pulling is fantastic. Obviously, pull at your own pace. Pull at your own pace, but... If you ever feel confident to pull a little bit more, uh, the, the chain pulling is fantastic. You don't have to do these huge, I mean, obviously it depends on your comp, right? If you're playing with like Destro Lock, you probably want to pull around, you know, your, your comp. But in general, like, you know, these chain pulls, I love chain pulling. It's just endless, ki endless uh, pulls and you're just healing the whole time. It's more interesting for me, at least, more than the big pulls, in my opinion. Kick this or not because I didn't have kick. I gotta do a better job of tracking that. Forge stomp. Can I line? Look at that. This is my new favorite pillar. It's gonna line. Don't get hit by a mechanic. Yeah, Matt, this is actually perfect. Oh my god. I could. What's what's he? I hate saying what. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Um, That was a perfect place to tank that guy, actually. I'm kind of. I'm pleased. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to drink during this pull. I feel like this isn't like an... In okay, okay. Or you can do AoE. That's fine. I'm going to try to drink before the boss, though. Just because... 
Oh yeah. Oh, this this aug just said good good pulls. Yeah, this this tank's doing a fantastic job. We got Tony Dark. Okay. Oh, am I dumb? I think I don't think I had my mouse over macros. It's not dumb. Mm mm mm. You're watching one of the best. All right, let me uh, please drink. Uh, okay, wasn't even gonna ask this time. All right. Okay, a re damage. Uh, this boss, I just honestly, I just there's a lot of movement and it's just kind of annoying, straight up. So, oh, I can meld this trick right here. On this mechanic, if you're the first one targeted, you could Shadow Melt and avoid the mechanic. You're welcome. That's right. That that that's that's a Mythic Plus trick, right there. Let me know. If, let me know if you learn that from me and from nowhere else. No one else. I'm gonna defuse magic here. Avoid the red swirls. Just avoid the red swirls. Um, there's a tank mechanic that comes out pretty soon too. Okay, we don't have it. He's scared to give it back to me. I don't have meld, so. And avoid the red swirls. A red, just avoid the red swirls. Good. Um, he did swings. I, I don't, that's a tank mechanic. That's a tank mechanic. I got you, brother. Nice. Good. Okay, AOE coming in hot. Good, good. Just dodge. I, I defuse that damage, so we should be okay. Yeah, we're doing a really good job. I am actually, uh that's all right. All right, just avoid the red circles. I'm just going to cocoon myself here, actually. I want to focus healing on these guys. Manatee here, throwing a belt miss on the tank. Renewing mist. Okay. AoE incoming. I'm just going to fort through. I, again, I really, really, really hate this boss. I, the movement is just fries me. So I will use any defensive I can to get us through it. Yulon here, really good during the thing. All right, I don't have the mechanic, or I have the mechanic. I just don't, you know. All right, good. Oh, where's the hunter? They, that's what I'm talking about right there, baby. That's the utility I'm talking about. I think I'm going to kiss every single one of these players on the forehead after this dungeon. Like, straight up. I love them. Oh, my God. It's, it's like a breath of fresh air. Diffuse magic here. All right, please don't die. Nice exil. That's that's good. Good. It makes me want to cry a little bit. Watching DPS, it's like... I don't know. Just watching DPS press their defensive buttons brings much joy to me. Can I drink real quick? I'll, I'll wait to drink. I'll wait to drink. But uh, if, if he chain pulls these two mobs into the next pull, I'm not going to be happy about it, but... I'll understand. I'm, I'm going to drink. Good, 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 good. If I know this tank, and I've known him for exactly 21 minutes and 50 seconds, he's going to pull it into the next... Um, pull these mobs to the next pull. Maybe not. Could be wrong. No? Okay. That's fine. I think we're doing okay overall, though. I think, I think overall, put a little mystic touch on these fellas right here. Okay, good. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice. You could snap these down, unless I changed it. I don't know, but you could. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I didn't take damage, so I'm going to throw an envelopment miss on the tank here. I'm just going to put my statue down. I'm going to start channeling it, and I'm going to drink super quick. Because I am playing Peaceful Mending, so that's good. Good. Um, these don't really on, on, again, on Tyrannic Week, nothing too crazy on Fort Weeks. It's just a lot of damage. Uh, he's going to do his little wings flapping. It's just big AOE damage. So good time to press Chiji or Yulon. Um, the Chi Cocoon is fantastic from them for just absorbing that initial hit. Um, uh, and giving you a little extra big pull next. Okay. I'll save Fire Rack. Um, I just used my Yulon, but that's okay. Now, what is going to bother me is if we wipe right now, because um, I feel like sometimes tanks get a little cocky. I'm not saying all tanks. I'm saying some of them. 
you know, they try to pull a little bit more. Like, I mean, I feel like we time this with how we're doing it. But, uh, you know, he, and we're not going to two-chest it, right? So, I don't know. Okay. Just kind of swing his axe a little bit. I'm kind of Todd that. Kind of makes me a little scared. I right, put my statue in. I'm going to drink. I'm in combat. I'm going to melt drink. I don't know what I'm in combat with. I, the whole hallway is probably going to fall down or something. It's going to come running at me. All right, big healing here. I'm going to fire rack and let's... Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, that's that's, that's a lot. Yulon here as well. It's a lot of damage. Yo, let's chill, 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 chill. That was cheat death from the AUG too. We have AMS. Yeah, good. I got Manti here. Diffuse. Good, good defensives from the AUG. I... I could kiss this Og. I love him so much. Okay. Is this pull almost over? Because. Um, I have out of no I have nothing. I have revival, actually. So not nothing, but pretty close to nothing. The healing. Good. Good. Mystic touch everything. Manatee, quick little sip here. The thing I learned about healing blood decays is either they're alive or dead. Either they're 100% health or they're 1% and they're dead. That's the only thing. That's that's what I've learned. <laughs> but that's... Oh, we need more. Missing two? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to keep drinking here. This should be enough, I feel like. Oh, yeah, we got two. All right, good. Yeah, we're not going to two chests. That was a really good pull, though. I did I did enjoy that pull. Good. We got enough trash now. So we should be okay. Yep, good. Good. Nice, nice, good. Yeah, so how long do we have? We have, yeah, we have seven, what? Seven minutes to kill this boss. Um, good damage here, big kickback, good, good, good. I sweep everything, right? I don't have Todd. Um, start the RP and then I'll drink super quick when this dies. Come on now. Come on. Oh, we're going to chain pull it. Okay. We should have enough mystic touch here. That's my only damage contribution. Um, and then this boss is a pretty unique. Um, he's going to have a shield. Oh. Ooh, he's gonna have a shield during the fight and you're able to break it with these little I don't know these little powers. It's cool. It's cool. He's gonna spawn an ad though um, Few things you could do with it. You could kill it or you could CC it um, I've had teams do both. I guess it depends on your comp of course. Oh, this guy just gripped it. Oh, he gripped him onto me Shield in four Can I just cocoon you? All right, good. And then you break the shield with the powers. And we did that. So go us. Oh, that was <laughs> a little late. The damage does not work if he doesn't have the shield. So you're not going to cheese him with, like, you know, anything. Um, target, can I meld this? I, hell yeah, I can. I love Shadow Meld. Send that mechanic to the next person. All right? Pass and double it to the next person because I don't want it. You know what I mean? Big healing. Dodge the frontal. How long on shield? So I got this. I got this dot. I think I took it a little too early. <laughs> you lone here. Okay, good. Good. The healing. Good. Good. You you can precast it, which is what I did there. If you if you time it right, you can get you can you know get the shield almost instantly, which is what I think we did. So fantastic work. Good. Okay, and of course you could move. You can move while casting um, with the powers. By the way, if you didn't notice, 
I'm just going to Fort Brew here. I got the dot. It seems like it's kind of hurting just a little bit. So. Yo, he, he grips that thing in, man. Like, it's, like it's a piece of meat, but it kind of hurts a little bit. Magma Shield. Send it. Good. Dodge the swirls. Don't die, please. Good. We probably have to do that one more time, I would say. One more time, and we should be okay. I'm kind of at the point where I, I really have nothing. So, I mean, I have Yulon, but she's not strong enough, I don't think. She's kind of... Don't tell her I said it. I have a whole tattoo of her, but she's not the strongest in these situations, right? I'm going to defuse magic here, though, because this dot actually does kind of hurt a little bit. Like, just the tiniest bit. Yeah, that's right. All right, we have a shield... Did I do it too early? Oh my god, I'm dumb. Why did I think it was going to happen? Oh my god, I'm so happy they removed it. I, if we, I actually had flash. I thought I threw. I thought I threw the key there. I am... I would have been so sad.